Okay, let's talk today about how you can have your Wisecam streaming directly to a website. So you can have a web page or a blog and have the image of the camera live, all right? So it's pretty simple. You just need to take some steps. The first one is come here to the camera and enable RTSP. So you click here on this icon and you come to advanced settings. And here you need to go down and on RTSP, you just click it and enable, right? So click here to enable the RTSP. Click generate to generate the RTSP URL. Okay, so here you give the username and password. Here's just an example, admin and secret pass. Create generate URL. Here we go, wait for it to load. And then I have the URL that I'm going to use, okay? That's the one you need to use on a website that I'm gonna show you in a while, right? So let's just test this one. First thing you have to do is come here to your computer. And if you have your cell phone and your computer connected to the same router, okay, same Wi-Fi router, you can test the way I'm gonna show you, okay? So here I come to this VLC player. It's a free software you can download from the internet, VLC player. Come to media, open network stream, and here you just type this URL command from your camera. That's just to make sure it's working here locally. And then, then you can test on the internet, okay? So I hit play. Wait for it to load, and here you go. I have the VLC player working here with my camera, my wise cam, working perfectly here with our TSP protocol. Okay, just close this one. And now I go to the, the website to do the same thing, right? To use this command there, so this URL there. So I go to rtsp.me, it's pretty simple, rtsp.me, it's a free service. And here you're going to input this code, okay? So here, let me just type the one that I have here. So here you insert the RTSP URL for the wise cam, any email you want to, and you select the data center that's closest to you. And the next step is to replace this IP address because here you're using an internal one for your camera and you need to insert the IP for, from your router, the external IP of your router, okay? So how you do that, you just need to come here to a site like uh, IP Chicken, for example, ipchicken.com, and then you get your router external IP address, okay? Pretty simple. You have your computer connected to the network and to the internet, you can just type IP Chicken, you get the IP address and you come back here and you replace it here. Okay, you just select this, delete and control V to replace the IP address. Pretty simple, that part. Something extra you have to do is come to your router and to advanced settings, you need to look for uh, this for this option in your router. So here I'm just logging into my router. And then you need to create a port forwarding rule in your router. So I need to insert here the camera's IP address, the internal one, in my case it's 89, and add a new rule. Then you just edit the, this rule. Let me just insert here a name like WISE, and you replace here the port for 554. 554, and 554 again. And that's all you have to do. Pretty simple, the name, the port 554, and here's the camera's IP, internal IP in, in this case, okay? Hit apply, and you're ready to go, okay? Back here to the rtsp.me, now I have uh, the URL, the external IP, and I just need to click here, create broadcast and sign up. And click here, wait for it to load, and here you go, I have that live image from my wise cam here in this website, in this case, the rtsp.me. Here you have the link that you can use. So if you just copy and paste this link on our webpage, you can see live image from your camera, as you can see here. You can just send this link to people if you don't have a website, they can see your camera live, okay? And the final option here, as I told you before, you can have it on your website. So you just copy this code Go to your website and here in your website you need to insert the code in my case here i just need to drag and drop this if you don't know how to do that you need to ask somebody else come here and Control v to paste the code that i have and here is the image of my camera live on my website okay i just save update here 
and I'm gonna have that image working live on my website. Then when I go out to my website to check, here we go, and the image is live on the website. So pretty simple. So that's all you have to do. Remember, enable RTSP on your camera, and then you get the external IP address. You visit the rtsp.me, insert the code here, copy the code and paste in your website. It's pretty simple, okay? So if you like this video, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.